When 38-year-old Marcus Schrenker crashed his single-engine plane in the Florida panhandle last January, prosecutors say he was facing financial ruin and a crumbling marriage and decided to fake his own death. He's been charged with placing a false aircraft distress call and intentionally crashing a plane, and it's expected he'll plead guilty to the caper in federal court Friday. Authorities say Schrenker parachuted from his plane over Alabama after getting on his radio and claiming he was about to crash. Once on the ground, he sped off on a motorcycle he had stashed and headed to Florida, where authorities caught up with him at this campground. Schrenker had slit his wrist and recovered only after he was hospitalized. In April, Schrenker said in a letter to the Associated Press that problems with his finances and marriage caused him to snap and said he left Indiana without thinking. Authorities in the Hoosier state are awaiting resolution of the Florida case before moving ahead with their own charges related to his financial dealings there. Financial investigators say investors lost hundreds of thousands of dollars through investments handled by Schrenker. Earlier this year, an administrative law judge ordered him to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars in restitution to bilked investors and nearly as much in state fines for violating Indiana's insurance rules. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.